What's up YouTube? Debonair Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I'm going to be trying something completely new. I'm calling this brand new series The Loot Table because I'm going to be highlighting a bunch of brand new sneakers, fashion, gaming, and anime products that'll be dropping over the next few weeks. I'll be talking about all of those products, aka the loot, divided up amongst four different topics. I'll start with shoes, next will be fashion, I'll go into gaming, and then I'll round it out with anime. I just thought this video format would be a fun and easy way for me to talk about all of my favorite things crammed into one video, plus it'll give you all the information you need so that you don't miss out on any of your loot either. So if all of that sounds great to you, make sure you like and subscribe so that way you won't miss out on a single pixel of information in this video. So without further ado, here's the loot table for late October through mid-November. Starting us off with it being late October, almost Halloween, I think it's perfect to talk about a brand new drop from Vans, their Skate High in a Halloween colorway. I'm not really a fan of Vans per se, but I think these look really awesome with how they have this spiderweb graphic all over them. They have these blacks and purples that really give off that spooky Halloween vibe that you want. These dropped on October 25th for 75 bucks, and I definitely think they are worth taking a look at. The next piece of loot is a polarizing and controversial colorway from Jordan brand with the Air Jordan 1 Shattered Backboard 3.0. The orange and black color blocking on this shoe looks great even if the wrinkly shiny leather doesn't do it that many favors. This particular colorway goes really great with a lot of the earth tones that you'll be wearing this fall. If you're not a huge fan of the shiny look, I have seen photos where people have successfully removed the shiny layer on the shoe, which gives it a more matte look. The Shattered Backboard 3.0s dropped on October 26th for 160 bucks, but I would imagine you could pick them up on resale sites like Goat or StockX for not a whole lot more money. Also on October 26th, Adidas dropped a brand new Yeezy Boost 700 V1 in a teal blue colorway. If you don't have a pair of Yeezy 700s, now's a perfect time to jump on the bandwagon with this brand new fall colorway. I personally don't have a lot of earth tones in my wardrobe, but if I did, these are shoes I definitely would pick up. I have the Vanta Yeezy 700s and they are extremely comfortable, well worth the $300 price point in my opinion. And what's great about the 700s, like the teal blue, you can pick them up for resale, sometimes below the retail price. Moving into November, we have a brand new drop from Nike and Fear God with the Fear God 1 in an oatmeal colorway. It's obvious that this is a really seasonal release for the Fear God 1 and this tan color will match extremely well with a lot of your other earth tones that you'll be wearing this fall. Just like all the rest of the Fear of God and Nike sneakers, this will be dropping on Sneakers app on November 2nd. Pay attention though, because even though this shoe is gonna be selling for $350, it is guaranteed to sell out really quickly. We're getting another Yeezy drop on November 2nd with the Yeezy 500 in the Soft Vision colorway. I'm honestly confused why a color like this would drop in the fall time. This powdery pink color to me evokes a feeling of springtime, Easter, and we're here in the middle of fall, which is when we're getting a lot of earth tones and grays, browns, I don't get it. But if you're a fan of buying things ahead of time or you don't really care about dressing with seasonal colors, these are a perfect shoe to pick up. Again, it's a Yeezy 500, so it's not gonna sell out really quickly. I think you should have an easy time picking this up on November 2nd. This is pure speculation, but I'm predicting that on November 9th, we will finally see the release of the Nike and Off-White Dunk Low. This isn't a shoe I would particularly wear myself, but I had to mention it because Off-White has been the hottest sneaker collaboration in the last couple of years. Plus, I had to respect black designers like Virgil Abloh. From the information available right now, this shoe will release in three different colorways, a red and white colorway, a green and white, and then a black and yellow. Most likely it'll drop on the sneakers app for $170, which means it's gonna be sold out instantly. If I had to compare these shoes to any types of loot, I would say these are gonna be the legendary drop in November, and resale prices most likely are gonna be astronomically high. Capping off the sneaker loot for this video is another release from Nike and Off-White with the Zoom Vapor Street on November 14th. These seem to be another track shoe and sneaker hybrid, but as someone who's worn a lot of track shoes for a lot of hours, I can say that these would be absolutely terrible for running in track. Regardless, these are some pretty flashy and colorful sneakers that'll add a real pop of color to your look this fall. All three colorways of this shoe are guaranteed to drop on sneakers for probably around $150. There's no official price point, but that's my educated guess. Moving on to the fashion part of the loot table, we have some brand new news that GOAT 
is now selling fashion and accessories on their app. This feature was dropped pretty recently, sometime in late October, but it's great that now Goat is up to par with all the rest of the reselling apps. Apps like StockX have had the ability to buy and sell apparel and accessories for a while now, so now we can use the Goat app to do the exact same thing. Moving on, on October 24th, there was a new drop from Supreme and Levi's with some type of workwear inspired capsule. As you can see from these photos, there were a few different pieces, a bucket hat, a workwear jacket, and some pants. They were all made out of nylon. There were three different colorways, a golden yellow, a black with white stitching, and a desert camo. All of them look pretty interesting. You probably can pick them up for resale on sites like StockX or Goat now. On November 1st, we're getting a brand new collaboration drop from Levi's and Star Wars. This capsule drop commemorates the Star Wars history, movies, and characters. It looks like there's gonna be a bunch of cool and interesting pieces like denim jackets, hoodies, t-shirts, and some accessories. I don't have any info as to the exact pricing, but I imagine it's gonna be pretty reasonable because Levi's generally doesn't have extremely pricey pieces. Finishing off the fashion piece of the loot table, there is an extremely massive sale going on at Uniqlo right now. There are way too many pieces to name or to list anywhere, but if you're in interested in picking up some missing pieces from your fall wardrobe, head on over to Uniqlo and check them out. They honestly have a lot of stuff, great prices, and I imagine they're selling these things because they're trying to push their new winter products and probably their spring products soon. What's great about these kind of sales is that you can go and pick out your own loot. So you should definitely go there now and check them out and pick up something. Now, onto the fun part. Let's talk about the gaming drops for the next few weeks. Starting us off on November 5th is Planet Zoo. If you're a fan of zoos, you're a fan of animals, and you like SimCity style games where you get to build and manage your own towns, this game is gonna be exactly for you. With me being a dedicated PC gamer as of late, I'm extremely excited to finally see Red Dead Redemption 2 dropping on PC on November 5th. I know all you PS4 players out there have had time to really live out your Wild West fantasies, but now it's time for your boy to come through and show you how to do it right. Well, not really, because I suck at games now, but I'm still really excited to finally see this game releasing on PC. On November 8th, we are getting Death Stranding for PS4. I honestly don't know what the heck this game is gonna be about, what kind of game it's gonna be, but I do know that it is developed by Hideo Kojima, so I think it's worth mentioning in this list today. If you know what this game's about, if you can really explain it to me or to other viewers that really have no idea about what to expect of this game, leave some comments in the comment section below and let us know what we should expect when we pick up this game. So Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition on November 14th. Didn't we get another Age of Empires 2 updated version on Steam recently? Well, honestly, it's hard to be mad at this because Age of Empires 2 is easily one of the top three best RTS games of all time, in my opinion. The other two being Command & Conquer Red Alert and Warcraft 3 from the pre-Tencent Blizzard days. Let me know in the comment section below what your top three RTS games are. Anyway, if you're looking for a brand new Age of Empires 2 game to pick up, November 14th for PC, Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Rounding out our gaming loot for early to mid-November, we are finally getting the brand new Pokemon games for Switch, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on November 15th. I have a lot of respect for Pokemon games, but I honestly can't decide if I wanna pick these games up or not. If you are a Pokemon super fan, if you main Pokemon trainer on Smash, please try to convince me in the comments below why I should pick this game up. I honestly haven't played through an entire Pokemon game since Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold, but this does look like it could be an interesting game to pick up for Switch. I have heard some concerns about the graphics for these particular games, but despite that, I'm sure this will still be an extremely successful game for Nintendo. Now we're finally here to the anime drops, and this is a little tricky because the fall anime season began earlier in October, but I still wanted to include them in this video. Having said that, moving forward, I think in future Loot Table videos, I will try to time it so that when the anime season is beginning is when I will release one of these types of videos. Anyway, back on October 11th, we have finally got the fourth season of Shokugeki no Soma, AKA Food Wars. If you've never seen the series, or if you don't really know what it is, it's essentially a shonen anime where the main focus is all the characters are in a cooking school. So if you can imagine, cooking battles between really hyped up shonen characters. This is the show that you want to check out. On October 12th, we finally got season four of Boku no Hero Academia. The first few episodes seem to be building up to something epic, and I don't really read the manga, so I don't know what's going to happen, but everything looks extremely promising so far. I seriously can't wait to see Class 1A kick some more villain butt over the next few months. On October 12th, we also got the second part of the Sword Art Online 
Alicization arc called War of the Underworld. I don't want to spoil anything, but so far there has been a really crazy plot twist and this particular season of this anime looks really promising and interesting and it's kind of a departure from the other one. So definitely check it out if you've been following Sword Art Online at all. And finally, to cap off this loot table video, we have an OVA for ReZero. I don't want to attempt to say the full name of the OVA, I probably would butcher it, but on November 7th, we finally get some more backstory about some of our favorite characters, namely Amelia and Puck and how they met. Hopefully this means we will finally start seeing some news and some hints about the appearance of season two of ReZero. That would be really great. I'm guessing this OVA is just sort of a stopgap solution until they finally finish that. Nonetheless, I think this OVA will be an interesting piece of the storyline to check out just to get a little bit more insight as to the characters and their motivations. So there you have it. That's the loot table for late October through mid-November. There's a lot of dope things that released and that are still coming out. So you don't want to miss out on any of the drops that I talked about in this video. Once I get more information about some of the releases in the latter half of November, I will release another loot table video and I will continue that pattern moving forward. If you like this video format, if you were informed about brand new loot that you want to go pick up as it drops, make sure to click that like button. I will know to continue making more videos like this and that really does help the channel to grow. Also, if you have not already, please make sure to smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell. That way you will always be notified when I release brand new video. Anyway, y'all, this has been Devin our Gamer. Thank you so much for watching my video. I will catch you in the next one. So until then, good game.